So team, keep it clean. This offseason, it started really, really, really slow for the Baltimore Ravens. But ever since it picked up, it was one of them slowly but surely type of things. Ever since it picked up, it has been nonstop with something always going on, somebody always talking about the Ravens, them always saying something, them making a move, them doing this, them doing that, all that good stuff. Uh, and they didn't stop. Yesterday, uh, in a stay ready so you ain't got to get ready type of move. Uh, the Ravens signed center Sam Mustafa to former Chicago Bear. Uh, they signed him to a one-year deal. Um, so he, it was said that he started uh, 40 games over the past three years for the Chicago Bears. So he has a lot of starting experience. But for some reason, I, I still see people like tripping over this move. Like really, really making like a big deal over this. And I'm like, what, what's the problem with this? What's the problem of signing a, a guy with a lot of starting experience recently to a position where you have your start already? So, this, again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. This is a backup move. This is a backup move, but I've been seeing people treat it like this is a bad thing. Um, I, I did see my guy Gucci. He, he posted the clip of uh, a game uh, where the Bears played the Patriots. And Sam Mustafa had completely, like, whiffed on the block. He completely, like, missed it. Um, and I did, after that, I saw that clip, like, floating around like crazy. And, and it's just one clip. That, that's it. It's just one play. One play does not define a, a player's entire career. And I'm not saying that Sam Mustafa is this all-pro, all-world center that ain't letting nobody get past me, anything like that. But it's depth. This is a depth move. This is not a move for the future. This is not a move where he, he even expected to be a starter. Because it's like, hey, the, the more quality depth you can have, why not? And think about it. This allows you to maybe for the left guard position that used to be uh, Ben Powers, but it's obviously open now since Ben Powers signed that big deal with the Denver Broncos. Um, but maybe that left guard position, maybe they're like, hey, Pat McCarry. Because just in case Ben Cleveland, they don't feel like he's ready uh, or anybody else. Maybe they like, hey, Pat McCarry, you can be there. Because, you know, Pat McCarry, he was the backup center, but he was also the backup guard. He was also the backup tackle. He was the backup everything. But maybe they'll be like, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll slide him over there now. So they have that option. They can do that. Um, but this is not like a, a bad move by any means. It, it's, it's a move for backup. To move for a backup. Um, so it, it's, it's nice to, again, and, and oh, yeah, Jeff Zrebic brought up that uh, the Jets and uh, Tristan Colon Castillo. Well, Tristan Colon, uh, I think he removed the Castillo. But um, he used to be Ravens' backup center because Patrick McCarry, he was a starting center and for, for a while. Uh, and then Tristan Colon, he was the backup. Then, of course, they drafted um, – they drafted uh, Tyler Linderbaum, and that sort of – that or not even sort of – that gave them their for sure starting center of the here, the now, the future, and all that. So that was great um, because Ravens had been needing that for a while. Because Pat McCarry, he, he did the job, but I know before NFL, they said he had never played center before, like ever. But they threw him in here, and he did, he did his thing. Um, so for somebody who had never played a position before, he did a really good job of it overall. Um, but the Ravens got somebody that had been playing center through high school, through college, and now in the pros with Tyler Linderbaum. So I, I, I did like that move. Center's never a sexy pick in the draft, especially in the first round. But it, it worked out. And Tyler Linderbaum, he obviously still got some stuff to work on a little bit here and there. Um, but again, overall, for that being his rookie year, he did pretty good. He really did. Um, and that was really both both first round picks. Both first round picks were. Uh, I feel like both first round picks last year they weren't the the, the super sexy moves, the super sexy draft picks. Um, like usually, a, like a sexier draft pick would be a wide receiver or a, 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 a cornerback or even a run. Well, not maybe not a running back in the first round, but depending on who. But anyway. Um, those two first round picks last year, they paid off in a big way as the season continued. They, they, they really did. Um, and like we always talk about with Kyle Hamilton, he started off a bit shaky. 
But as the season progressed, he got better and better and better. And he really started making his impact known. And Linderbaum, I mean, he made his impact known <laughs> from start to finish uh, because that was that solidified the center position for the Baltimore Ravens for now and for the future, too. So it, it, it was a nice thing to see how both of those first rounders, how they panned out. Um, but anyway, back to this move. Uh, this, again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Oh, but what I was saying earlier with Tristan Colon, um, I hadn't even known that he signed with the Jets. I had not even realized that. I know that he was one of the players that the Ravens, they did not place a tender on him um, because I believe he was a restricted free agent. Um, but they didn't place a tender on him. And, yeah, I, I had no, no clue he went to New York. So they lost one of their backups. And, again, with Pat McCary, with him having so many different roles, you, you don't know where you're going to need him yet. Maybe the Ravens have a plan. Maybe they envision him doing something specific. Again, it could be left guard. Or they may be like, you know what, we just want you to be a stay ready so you ain't got to get ready type of player. Meaning you're not going to be a starter, but we want to have you available for all five positions. We don't want to just lock you down to one. I don't know, though. We'll, we'll see when we get there. But, again, this move alleviates Pat McCary from just having to focus on being the backup center. It, it allows him to still do whatever he's going to do, whatever, they have in, whatever plan they have in place for him. So, again, this is a good move. It, it ain't going to be even taking up a bunch of money, anything like that. Um, and it's just, again, depth, depth. And Ravens building depth. That that is something that's Ravens are building quality depth right now, and I, I'm I'm loving it. Now we got a long way to go through preseason and all that, through all that good stuff to see how, how the final roster is going to be and all that. But they are that is one thing that it seems that they have really been focusing on this off season is building quality depth, not just having depth, but quality depth. And to build quality depth, your starters, they obviously have to be of quality themselves. So good move, good signing, nothing to trip about, nothing to freak out about, nothing to go crazy about, nothing to get upset about, none of that stuff. But um, it, I, I mean, I can't tell people how they should, they should feel, though. But in my opinion, I, I would say this is nothing to get upset about at all or worked up about at all. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, y'all stay being the great people that I know all of y'all are. And we out of here, baby. We gone. Love y'all.